guys, Saber here. Welcome to the video. Today we're going to play a little bit more uh, Kelly. I know we already did a few videos on this last patch, but Kelly actually got a few nice cards to play around with, and I would like to, to take a look at that with you. Um, let's just open the deck builder here. And as you can see, then a lot of the cards are similar. Like if you get the high end cards here, they're exactly the same. So what's different? Well, basically, you got a few new cards to the deck. Uh, you got Maxi, which just feels very nice and Kelly. Um, six for five you can always use like worst case it's th one thinning of your worst card in the deck right because you can choose whatever card and put it to the bottom so imagine it's like another thinning card um but you can choose the worst card and put to the bottom which is really nice sometimes you have like a, a tech card you can just get rid of um which is which is obviously really good um and then uh, alternatively you can also just say i actually have some all my good cards close to the top i'll just keep Usually, if you haven't find, found your Nyromancy yet, you can kind of use this card to um, check if your Nyromancy is near the top. If it isn't, then just shuffle the deck. Hopefully, you will find your Nyro. Because an Nyromancy is a very, very powerful tool to have access to in this deck. And then, then we are running a few bombs here now. Um, so we have D-Bomb, we have Red Haze, we have... I guess that's, so that's basically it, right? But like, and then we have the Wild Hunt Hounds. So... The bombs here, uh, like deep double D-bomb is probably like what you're supposed to do. But Red Taste is just like a nice card that like very few people actually play around. And can quite often play for really good value. So hopefully we can we can find some nice Red Tastes in um, in this uh, this video. And then finally the Wild Hunt Hounds that got buffed this patch. So now they're just playing as 4 for 4 when you drop them. And quite often you can just invest a leader charger on them. They go, as a, go to 7 right away. Um, and then it's just very hard for them to kill unless they want to use tall ponies. And if they want to use tall ponies, well, how are they going to deal with your Dash, your Urgen, your Nithral, your Kelly, that sort of stuff. These cards are really nice. You just have a known rate just to fulfill the requirement about having enough units into the deck. Just a try pass card or whatever. And uh, the rest of the deck is pretty similar. Um, I was considering trying to do something like putting a Maddox into the deck. Um, and then like getting rid of like the selections for more bombs but i think for now we will just just go with this uh, i think the the, the the line is probably a little bit trolling first of all so we could get our dash through um that's a little bit more difficult we really want to find uh, phantom and urgen here they are the sort of cards that can give us some um presence here on one he's running this so maybe this is actually um I think it was like lockdown ball. It could also just be uh, Nova. If that's the case, it's probably a, a lot better for us. Um, I'll just keep on selection here. Sure. All right. Oh. Okay. Like, this is a really good matchup. Not quite sure what happened here, guys. But let's, um, I mean, sure. Well, let's move on to the next game again. All right. So we go against lockdown again. This time we go first. Pretty much like to find Dash here. I don't know how that works. We don't know which version we're up against here. Um, if it's the ball version or if it's the um, Colgrim version. That looks okay. I don't mind it too much. We don't need a pact. Could keep this on. I'll just go for the dash right away. Um, could back by a little bit. Let's see. I think now we have to go Cape Troll because otherwise he will um, he'll just be able to deal with this too easily. Um, we can also heat wave that, but I don't like heat waving that too much. Let's just play this. Don't think you'll have time to get through it now. And then might as well go Nithral as well, because otherwise I won't find any value. Now we can go, go Nithral, we can ping off the shield, and then we can go Selection. Then we should be winning on even. I 
there's not that much you can do. Actually, so one thing to note here is that he played Helga and he didn't get his uh, Roach out. Which makes me wonder if he's like if he's playing something else actually. No, it is just Clogus, right? So I'll just take this ping here. Get rid of the Helga. Not sure if he has any more of them, but it's just nice to get rid of it. This is a card I would very much like to mulligan because if I ever drop this, then he can start um, clogging me with this, which would kind of suck. That's the Nova. Could heatwave that. We could all just work our way through it, to be honest. I think that might be better. I guess we could just. Maybe just do this section. Seems like the best line. So I think, if possible, I'll probably drop my Guardian next because it doesn't seem like he has a good way of getting through this. Okay, so he just takes a pass. We went on even. Everything is good. I think we should be in a very good position from here. Um, we can bleed with the Phantom. He might have a spot, but it should be all the tall punish he, he has access to. Um, a rush is not too bad. We don't really want bronze units if we can help it. Um, so we just start Phantom, I think. We'll probably go Urgen afterwards, maybe. This feels pretty nice. Um, if I go for Wild Hunt Hound, he'll probably just clog it right away. They actually have double assassinate. That's kind of kind of bad, to be honest. Um, hmm. Guess we just go Urgen then. Most people don't run double assassinate, um, but it is obviously something you can play around. But yeah, it's looking a little bit more tricky now. Not quite sure how to how to utilize this the best. At least it cannot shuffle the Nairo back now that we already used it um, twice. I feel like I could just go Kelly here. You will not regret this. Focus on it. Quiet the noise in your head. Mm. Doesn't do anything on the fly, but maybe that's okay. I think it's fine. I'd just block him from playing another card, to be honest. Again, there shouldn't be any tall punish. If it damages, we have a rush, which should kind of just make it pretty much impossible for him to kill it. He'll get gone, double assassinate. Um, I'm very much doubting he can work his way through Kelly now. Yeah, he's not playing these, which makes sense from him. Just buff it up Ray Rush. 12 damage is a lot. I very much doubt he got that. And we're probably just looking to pass, to be honest. We could also go for Maxi first, depending on how he plays. I'll just play a maxi here first, I think. Uh, do we pass? I like going maxi first. Your magic can't harm me. No magic. So I will definitely shuffle here, I think. Otherwise, I won't see those cards. I'll just get rid of a deeper, maybe. No, that's fine, I think. Uh, I guess Guardian, right? We should just get rid of the Guardian. He's playing the old version here with Berengar, which means that he's probably running Peter as well. So this is something you want to... So this is the only downside, so this gives him something he can use the Viper Witches on. But I think we should be okay. I think we just pass on this. Just don't really see him doing the points here. Another one of these would play for nine, but then he also loses four. Right 
still need another but another man to do it yet. I don't think don't even think it would right be a tie, so I guess it can you move something back maybe? No, just give me another brick. But that's not enough points. So he's gonna go down three here, if he can even do it. He couldn't. That's a very bad matchup for him. This is how we wanna play it. Um not much different dash, but this also works okay. Um so Having these is not too bad. Dash is definitely not bad either. This hand might not be too strong. Maybe Mulligan too much here. Let's see. I'll just heat wave that right away. Let's get rid of it. Um, then I'll probably try to develop my my dash afterwards. There we go. Dash. I will be also use one leader charge here. Uh, because otherwise it dies to uh, boiling oil. Um, and we can just want to try to develop our engines a little bit. Um, could try a wild hunt down first, maybe. Just see if that's kind of like just shaking if he has an oil, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure. Do we want to do that? Maybe it's okay. I mean, I think it's more important to establish the engine reaction noble stick first. Pass it's here, then we run uneven. Um, if he keeps going, he might actually lose, lose, like, lose around um, while being down a card. Goes for Erlen here, just developing slowly. I'm just gonna go Erlen here, play around the oil. Play it safe. Um, so, yeah, right now we are up a card and up points. Not a situation you want to be in from the NR perspective, of course. Um, develop the Hound here as well. Could play around the oil here. I don't think I will, though. Get another Hound. That's not too bad, to be honest. It's nice to have those cards here. Round one. That's Alice Oil here. Yeah, he just takes oil. No, he doesn't take the oil. Okay. Just keep cycling these. Vesemir is going to come down soon for a bunch of points, um, but this is enough for now. Gaining a bunch of points each, each turn now, three points a turn. And we actually have quite a lot of playable cards here, right? It's only killer that we want to play. So that's the oil. Makes sense. And now we could go for Maxi, I think it's a perfect Maxi turn. Looking at the deck here. Most of the good cards are quite far down. Uh, again, so if we draw three cards, do we actually see all of these? I mean, maybe it's actually okay. We have none of our like good cards down here. It's only Wrath down here, but we have Nairo for that. So like, we draw six cards. That's six, but then we also have four Mulligans. We should see all of this, all of these. I think I might just keep here. Obviously, by taking a. Pass here, I'll be up two cards. I think I'd rather just keep going. Goes Quinn into what I would assume to be Vesemir. Um, so I'm gonna do this. Then the question is, do we also wanna invest the leader charge here? Like if we just do this, we... We'll have to play one more card to win uneven. I think that's probably fine. I don't need to don't need to push it. Do we? Maybe it's fine to push it to be honest. Sure. Let's do this. 
So now we are we're up by one point. Um, try to see how much we can get out of him. Can we get his full leader? Or is it just a Scytheman coming down? Probably just a Scytheman. 12 points. Yeah, so we'll probably have to give him a pass on that, I'm afraid. That's okay, though. Still have dominance, so no worry in that regard. Just thunder you. Goes for the Urden here. I think that, that gets him out here. Um, but I think we should be in an okay spot here. Um, basically, we have we've used to quite a few leader charges and he got full carryover. Um, but he also used his tall punish. He's down two cards. Used one leader charge himself. His leader charge is not that big of a deal, but still something. Um, so, a drive pass card actually. Actually, did we, did we actually get a drive pass card? I don't actually think we do, right? Um, goes for these right away, I think. I should just res res respond with Kelly right away. Um, this is okay. Um, I'm ahead. And if he keeps going, I don't think he'll get his card back. He shouldn't have any more tall punishes after he played the certain. Um, so this is honestly just fine. Um, now we have two cards, um, and he played his wit. Like I just don't think he has any any juice left now. We can open with Nithral, and I think Nithral should should win us the game here. That bleed was really bad for him in my opinion. Um, but clearly he was a little bit desperate. Um, yeah, so we we actually knew what we would draw here. Now we have access to the wrath, like we discussed earlier. So I think we, we can just start with this. I don't think there's anything I need to, to worry about. It would be Prince, I guess, but I, I just don't think he can fit it in this this build. Um Haven't really seen seen any Prince Urden Urden decks with AA. That sounds pretty impossible. He goes Kelda. Um obviously that's something we want to take care of. Um it's pretty difficult for him to play around it, so just do this and then we finish it off. Also taking wrath on that to be honest, but this works as well. So we want to try to take our dominance back here. This does play get playing to a girl, but again, I don't think you're playing anything else on Urden. Um that would surprise me a lot. Let's see if he tries to play around this. He doesn't. Doesn't even bother. Um, so we just win here. Nothing he can do. He doesn't have much juice left himself. Um, maybe like a Leo. Like a, wait, oh, he's actually running. Okay, this makes it an even worse pass for him in my opinion. Like he's running a lot. I guess he didn't have a way to get through the, the, the defender, but... Um, yeah, that just seems. Yeah, I don't know. Like it, it's it's maybe not a bad matchup for him, but I think bleeding with which is like it is it's just like it is just a losing line every time. Um, so we can just go for an Iromancy here um, into our wrath probably like this. Take another ping here. Then we have the Oswald finisher on the Urgen. This game went pretty much perfect for us. Um, so nice to get a win from it. So yeah, that was that was basically um, what I had for Kelly today. I think the deck is very strong. I can highly recommend playing it. Um, I think this build in particular is very nice because you have the Wild Hunt Hounds. They're just really, really nice to have some of these spawn engines in the deck as well. Um, does actually give you a little bit more flexibility. You could even consider kicking Beast or Phantom now if you want, or maybe Nithral. Try to do some other stuff with your provision if you need to, because now we have Bronze Engine Valor that's actually really solid. But thanks for, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.